17 a.m. Thank you for your attendance. Councillor's not here. Not here. And an amendment. Thank you. Oh, uh, Brittany. And we'll just. Uh, in the meeting and uh, uh, we might do declarations because they've got to be done in open obviously. Um, does any, have anyone have any possible declarations that they'd like to do now? I've got a question. Please go ahead. So, um, if the matter refers to something that's in the closed item, how do you call it out? If the item's in closed. The subject heading and the item number, it's public. Yeah, C1. You don't, so, um, Councillor Edwards, you don't own the phone. I used to, but I don't. Okay. So, um, I'll give this a go. Right. <laughs> um, uh, I move that Councillor Edwards does not have a, have either a real conflict of interest or perceived conflict of interest in the matter and is accordingly free to participate in the meeting while this matter is dis discussed, including by voting on the matter. Okay, do we have a seconder for that motion? Yeah. Councillor Burkett. Opposition to the motion. Uh, does the member wish to speak to the motion? Councillor Hancock. Oh, no, thank you. Sorry. Okay, we'll go to the vote. All those in favour? 8 0. Have you any other conflicts? Okay, uh, uh, do we have someone who wants to go into committee? Mr. Mayor, oh, um, Councillor Amy, I need to raise. Um, 
what I believe is a conflict of another councillor. Yeah. Um, uh, and I'm obligated to do that under the Act. Um, I'm sure this is going to make me popular. Um, I'm raising a um, uh, question of conflict on yourself, uh, on uh, Councillor Edwards, Councillor Burkett, Councillor Guthrie and Councillor Ladbrook on uh, item uh, C2 under minor pro um, projects number 20 patron uh, number 20 on page cinema uh, as a uh, billboard uh, in the campaign. I never, I never, I never mentioned, mentioned I don't know what you're talking about. I never mentioned it. Well, I never mentioned the cinema. Oh, no, I didn't mention the cinema. A billboard, but the, but the word in the campaign is a billboard. Oh, okay. billboard. Electronic billboard? No. I can assume it's true you can it because you hang your signs up on the That's correct. On the oh, okay. fence in front of the building. Um, so, okay, so you've moved that. I haven't moved anything. I've raised it as a conflict of interest. If I'm obligated to under whatever section of the Act it is. I, I sought um, independent legal advice. What I need to do as a councillor this morning. So, so you Three, is it? 
C2. C2 uh, of the Budget Standing Committee, and it um, relates to um, uh, yourself, Council Edwards, uh, as <coughs> other councillors as well here, um, use this particular building in the campaign as a billboard uh, for campaigning. Okay, so and anyway, so could I have that wording? <coughs> it, it might be simpler if I can um, just um, think out loud. I, I could move, Mr. Mayor, that that item lay on the table, that particular item, 20, lay on the table until the next budget. Could, could we potentially just extract okay. that, that, that item from the base discussion? way there is no discussion about it beyond here. Okay. Yeah, so I'm happy to move that we extract the item number 20 on page 150 <laughs> from the agenda. Anything else we need to do? Um, until, until when? Until the next budget meeting to receive legal advice on a possible conflict. Or a raise on raise. Have to get rid of that. Uh, when you not, say uh, uh, I move that the uh, items, uh, sorry, we want items excluding item 20 when you have to move it if it goes. It's only that item that's yeah. not being discussed, so we don't have to refer to anything else that's after this that report. Yeah. If you can just increase the size of the screen, it's pretty. Item be removed 
from today's discussion, removed and not discussed at today's meeting, uh, with it to be dealt with at a future budget submission. to declare a perceived um, conflict of interest. So I declare that I have a perceived conflict of interest in matter C.1, preliminary draft general cost recovery fees and commercial charges, 2020 to 2021, as I have a relationship with the president of the Mitchell Show Society, who is my brother-in-law, Steve Hancock. Um, I have determined that this perceived personal interest is not of sufficient significance that it will lead me to making a decision on the matter that is contrary to the public interest. I will best perform my responsibility of serving the overall public interest of the whole of the Council's area by participating in the discussion and voting on this matter. However, I acknowledge that the remaining councillors must now determine, pursuant to section 175E4 of the Local Government Act 2009, whether I have a real conflict of interest in this matter or a perceived conflict of interest in this matter, and if so, whether one, I must leave the meeting while this matter is discussed and voted on, or two, I may participate in the meeting in relation to the matter, including by voting on the matter. Okay, uh, does anyone want to move something? Uh, Mr Mayor, I'll move that Councillor Hancock has a, a perceived conflict of interest in the matter and accordingly... Uh, oh yes, yeah, sorry. That Councillor Hancock has a perceived conflict of interest in the matter and notwithstanding the conflict, Councillor Hancock may participate in the matter discussed and vote upon it. Okay, we have a second for that one. Councillor Burkett, any opposition? Does anyone wish to speak? We'll go to the vote. All those in favour, 8 0. So we have the same now for item C.2. Right. I declare that I have a conflict of interest in this matter, being C.2 Merrill budget submissions for 2021, 20, item 37. Um, I declare I have a conflict of interest in this matter as defined in the Local Government Act 2009, Section 175D, as follows that I have a relationship with the present president of the Mitchell Show Society, which is um, my brother in law, Steve Hancock. And I've determined that this personal interest is not of sufficient significance that it will lead me to making a decision on this matter. That is contrary to the public interest, I will best perform my responsibility of serving the overall public interest of the whole of the Council's area by participating in the discussion and voting on this matter. However, I acknowledge that the remaining councils must now determine, pursuant to section 175E4 
for the Local Government Act 2009, A, whether I have a real conflict of interest in this matter or a perceived conflict of interest in this matter, and B, if so, whether, one, I must leave the meeting while this matter is discussed, voted on, or two, I may participate in the meeting in relation to the matter, including by voting on the matter. Okay, and uh, Councillor O'Neill, do you want to move something? Mr Mayor, I move that um, Councillor Hancock has a perceived conflict of interest in the matter and notwithstanding the conflict, um, Councillor Hancock may participate in the matter discussed and vote upon it. We have a second for that motion. Councillor Guthrie, any opposition to the motion? Does anyone wish to speak to the motion? We'll go to the vote. All those in favour? All those against? Eight to zero. I just to just uh, bring something up. So, um, oh, I just noticed there's a number on page one one. C2, just, just the um, item 38, is that? Is that kind of cool to, um, the, uh, that be cool? I was just going to raise that a little bit. It's just another one. Though. It relates to what I raised yeah. this morning. Uh, page 151, what number? 38. Cinemas for Maranao. Mm. Well, I'm happy to uh, remove that. Um, so I have to move the motion on that. Do so. you have to move the motion? Yeah, the other one. You should need that one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay, I'd like to move that item 38 on page 151 be removed and not discussed at today's meeting and uh, with it to be dealt with at future budget submissions future planning standing committee meeting pending appropriate legal advice. So yeah. Could I just clarify that that should be our financial planning standing committee in both cases with place? Future budget submissions and financial planning. Oh yeah, financial planning standing committee meeting pending appropriate legal action. Everyone can see the motion. We have a second for that motion. So yeah. we're clear that's legal advice, not legal action. Legal advice, sorry. Yeah, you said no. action then. Oh, no, no. Sorry. Um, yeah. Pending appropriate legal advice. We have a second to Councillor Edwards. Any opposition to the motion? Does anyone wish to speak to it? We go to the vote. All those in favour? Uh, nine zero. Go back to the wording of that motion. I'd like to move. So I'd like now to move on C1. I'll read out the heading. C1 preliminary draft costs, recovery fees, and commercial charges 2020 2021. Uh, can it just be moved over a little bit? Thank you. And maybe just blow it up and moved over a little bit. Please. I'd like to move uh, that a report be received, that the report be received and noted. Num point number two, review be undertaken of the actual costs of reconnecting gas and what's involved and bring it back to the next committee, page 108 is the reference number. Uh, page number. Point three, the name 
On page 74, be updated from Surat Racecourse Reserve to Waru Sporting Complex. Uh, number four, that draft community organisations, rates and charges, rebates and concessions policy be re reviewed to incorporate potential concession for Roma, Mitchell and Wanamilla Show Societies for the use of council facilities. Concessions for community groups to, to use Bassett Park Sporting Oval Day and Night Hire, page 65. Number five, Information be brought back on the fee value breakdown and opera options for the airport car park and associated expenses at the Roma Airport, page 103, including provisions of the previous report prepared for Council. Number six, a report be prepared on water access and usage charges for sporting groups, specifically those on privately owned land. Um, I'd probably just make that in general to um, privately owned land for both, so I'd like that to be. Uh, how would you change that? Just to have specifically, well, incorporating privately owned land as well or something? Incorporate rather than specifically those on incorporating privately owned land. Yeah, to incorporate those on privately owned land. Yeah, okay, I'll read that one again. A report be prepared on water access and usage charges for sporting groups incorporating those on privately owned land. Seven, a report be prepared on the potential installation and possible fee for use of a holding tank at the Roma and Mitchell Refuge facilities or grease trap waste, having regard for the number of grease traps within the towns and potential volumes. Number eight, note the need for removal of the Surat Hall electronic data projector from page 69. That could save a fee. Surat RSL Hall. Surat RSL Hall. Yeah. And it's a fee, isn't it? Yes. I think. So we need that. Fee after projector. I'll read that one again. No, number eight, note the need for removal of the Surat RSL Hall electronic data projector fee from page 69. Okay, now the next one. Um, Point 10, a report be brought back for budget impacts of a potential fee waiver for funerals. Oh, there's a nine. Okay, sorry, I went past that. Number nine, for the next draft to include a higher fee for freestanding room dividers, that's number nine. Number 10, a report be brought back for budget impacts of a potential fee waiver for funerals and waivers for use of council facilities. Like say in the marathon. So that's the whole area. That, that's a good it is, yeah. I'd like to just say that. But. Number uh, 11, uh, as a general philosophy for the next draft, incorporate no increase for 2019, uh, from 2019 2020 for the council fees and charges. Do we need to put the next year in there? Council fees and charges. Can we put in there uh, for uh, the uh, 2020 to 2021? Um, could I make a suggestion for the next 2021 draft? Yep. The bit in bra no, no, the bit in brackets. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, that's Where it says for the next draft, yeah. just insert after next. Up to the word next, 2021. As a general philosophy, this is number 11, I'll start again. As a general philosophy for the next 2021 draft, to incorporate no increase uh, from 2019 20 for council fees and charges, 
but officers to bring back any instances where council may not recover, may not currently be recovering the cost of providing a service. Uh, point number 12, recognise the value of any reduced fees or charges associated with the impacts from COVID-19 as a separate item in Council's budget financial statements as a COVID-19 community service obligation. And 13, a report to be provided on waste charges, specifically the implementation, oh no, the implications I should say, of the waste collection area and industrial commercial billy services. We have no second. No, oh, I just got a question. Up, Mr. Mousing, you said um, fees or you didn't say way, you just said something else. In number 12. Number 12. <laughs> you said okay. fees or charge, I think it's waivers. Okay. But it is waivers. I'll read that again. Point 12. Recognise the value of any reduced fees or charges. Waivers. Any reduced fees or waiver. Waivers associated with impacts from COVID-19 as a separate item in Council's budget financial statements as COVID-19 community service obligation. Brittany, could you just go up um, to the section that had uh, yeah, so point five as well, <coughs> including provision singular. Uh, I think the pencil provisions. So provisions on that. Yeah, just as written is fine. Mr. Mayor, you're happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with that. No, no, it, sorry, it shouldn't be without. It should be without the yes on provisions. Oh, okay, so leave it. It's just the Mayor. Set provisions, okay, yep. Yeah. Okay, we're all happy with that? Okay, uh, do we have a second for that motion? Councillor Burke, any opposition? Does anyone <laughs> wish to speak? We'll go to the vote. All those in favour? 9 0. Okay, does someone wish to go? I'll move we go into committee. Do we have a seconder? Councillor Hancock, any opposition? Does anyone want to speak? We'll go to the vote. All those in favour? Nine zero. We have someone to move that. The jury chair. I'm happy to move it. Uh, the meeting stand adjourned. Yeah, I'm happy to move that the meeting stand adjourned till. Next Tuesday, the 23rd, 23rd at 9 a.m. That doesn't have to be a resolution. A procedural motion. Procedural motion. Um, all those in favour? Are you in favour of Council Edwards? So that's the Budget Standing Committee. Just to be clear, Budget Submission to the Financial Standing Committee is adjourned till the 23rd, next Tuesday at 9 a.m. Uh, budget and standing committee. Uh, the reconvening. The reconvening the, re the, re the budget standing committee at nine fifteen a.m. It's uh, last week. So last week. Last week. Uh, Mayor, I'll, uh, I move we go into committee. We have a second up. Councillor Bergen, all those in. Oh, have we got been missing some? Councillor. Yeah, uh, sitting behind you. Yeah. Oh, Councillor Edward. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to wait for it. Councillor Edwards, we just um, we just reconvened the budget. Councillor Edward. The budget. Submissions and Financial Planning Standing Committee. And we're just, um, Councillor O'Neill has moved to go into close. We had seconded by Councillor Burkett. We
should be on the same level. Level. conflict should be this. Yeah, yeah, um, right, I'll just roll on. C, C1, This is C2. C1, down. No, it should be up the top. Oh, C, C1 will do that. Yeah, we yeah. right. That was the airport. Um, so we, we, we voted against yeah, that, was was in, yes. that was in relation to C1. Oh, so we had to stay. Yeah. C1. Which, um, that was completed. Yeah. Okay. C2, mineral budget submissions for 20... 2021. I would like to move that council uh, I would like to move that council um, that um, council allow all councillors to bring forward their budget submissions to verbally be able to be spoken to briefly at a future meeting after we uh, firm up available monies for this year's budget. So when I say future meeting, I mean the budget submissions and financial planning standing committee meeting. Uh, do we have a second for that motion? Councillor Edwards, any opposition to the motion? Does the mayor wish to speak to the motion? I uh, certainly believe that um, you know all councillors should have the ability. I think it's sort of pointless going through <coughs> initiatives till we've worked out the amount of money available. And as this budget process is firmed up, I think that would be the time. And I do not believe we need to increase the paper workload. I think we should have a discussion about it, and then the ones that move on, then we do the business case then. Okay, uh, Councillor O'Neill, would you like to speak against the motion? Well, thanks, Mr Mayor. I have uh, no problem at all uh, that councillors bring forward budget submissions. In fact, I support that element uh, of what you've um, proposed. Um, what I thought uh, there was um, merit in was that uh, councillors, not unlike the staff who bring forward uh, uh, budget submissions for us to consider, uh, that councillors too provide some uh, form of words attached to what they're proposing rather than uh, one lines, one line um, uh, uh, budget considerations for council uh, to mull over prior to coming to these meetings. Uh, I think the general public uh, would uh, implore us to do a little bit of homework on our own as councillors before we bring matters before the rest of the councillors. In fact, we're talking about the suggestion uh, if uh, this resolution is not supported today, uh, I'm happy to move that we do endorse a one-page report that is provided to all councillors uh, with, if for uh, no other better term than a little bit of meat on the bones, for us to consider before we walk into a budget meeting. So I don't think that's an onerous task. Uh, in terms of the impact on the staff, it means they're uh, printing a, a few more pages for us, but in terms of the responsibility of the individuals sitting around the table, I think um, there is an expectation in the community that we'll do a bit of grunt work before we get here. And so on that basis, I don't support uh, the, the motion of simply just uh, providing uh, you know, individual thoughts and, and speaking to at the meetings without doing a little bit of homework. But as I said in the outset, I wholeheartedly support what you put forward in terms of each council of bringing forward budget submissions. I just think there needs to be a bit of meat on the bones before they hit the table. So, 
can we or can we just amend an amendment? Yeah, right. You're going to have to ask. Oh, well, I'd move that we uh, amend the the mayor's uh, initial motion to instead of being verbally able to be spoken, uh, to provide a a briefing or a provide a, uh, a title and infor basic information. A written briefing. Oh, could I support the, the motion too, but I think I do agree that. Uh, so needs to be Councillor Burkett, if I can, a frame of words for your amendment could be number two. Yeah. Well, that's already in there, yeah. No, it's not. The Mayor hasn't moved any of that. He's moved his own motion at the top. Well, can we combine, can we add that in, Kelly, to mine? So you can ask the mover if they would like to accept that, and the seconder, if they don't, then it, it moves to more. Mr Mayor, would you like to add that number two as an amendment? Um, you, you, Councillor Burton, I'm, I'm not in favour of it because I think it's an inefficient process to have uh, all that work done when we may not be moving forward with these projects and there's many steps so I, I wouldn't be in favour of that until they move forward, whichever council or projects may move forward and then I'll be happy to do it. Well, I'm oh, sorry, I, I was happy to with my list, um, I was going to put a whatever it was, and then a short little blurb myself. I wasn't talking about staff, sorry. That was what it I was going to do myself. It doesn't about money or anything, does it? Just, just about mm. what you description. Yeah. Yeah, so I, just, I was only going to do that myself. Still verbally do it, but you can have the it information is only one in front of you while you're, um, while you're doing it. It's like you actually have the information in front of you while you're doing it, but you can verbally do it. So, I mean, you can still verbally do it. You know, have your little page in front of you, and, uh, and you know, I'm just saying that's an alternative view. Yeah, well, I wasn't speaking to staff, I was just, that's what nor, nor was I, Council Burger. Yeah. My intentions coming in before that, again, the last week was whatever I proposed, I was just going to have a brief little what my opinions was going to look like. That was all. Still won't read it out. Like you said, I'd be happy to have a one puppy in front of me and then verbally read it out. Just, yeah, just summary. trying to think through. Just a bit yeah. Of not, not staff go away and correlate all that. No. Just. But yeah, my motion is that we afford a lot of time. But anyway, very keep to the things. So I'm not happy to. You know, I believe we should be talking about it. So that's what. Yeah, we're yeah, yeah, still talk about it. But uh, like if I come in and was talking about painting the water tower. I'd have uh, paying a water tower, you know, I think this is a grand, grand idea, not a grand idea, um, and just a bit basic bad. overview, just so I can explain my point of view. That was all I was thinking. Tell us where it is. But Mr Mayor, I, I guess the advantage of having a, a few lines under our, our project ideas would be that for us to, to provide that, not the staff, but we'd obviously put that up to go in the agenda, but the staff might actually have some background or some costings that they've already been working on. There might be something that they could add to that that could be added so that that we don't even know about. So I'm just that would be an advantage of being so that they know what the project is, why we think it's important, and they might have some some um, some we costings. We wouldn't even need to put it in the agenda though. We're just going to go around. And... What well, would just be if it's in a budget briefing? Be just oh. the same, just a bit. Oh, yeah. Video. Okay, so we've got a motion and we've got a uh, Councillor Burkett amends it to um, what were you wanting to Well, do? it doesn't have to be council staff, so number two, but. Which well, just says a short version, read number yeah. two. Uh, but doesn't say anything about staff. A short version. It doesn't say anything about staff, staff must do it. Yeah, yeah. Provided by councillors, by councillors, yeah. not two councillors. Yeah, yeah by, by, by Just by councillors. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy to number two. So that would be your moving an amendment to the mayor's motion. I'll, I'll move that amendment number two to the mayor's original motion.
So it's just a combination. So staff don't have to do anything. No, no, it's, um, it's our us. Because otherwise, if there's 200 things for us, it's just too much. Right? So I'm happy to second the amendment. Okay, we have the opposition to the amendment. Um, we'll vote on that amendment. Or we'll does the mover want to speak to the amendment? No, I'm, I'm happy with that. What's the motion? No, the, the mayor's motion, we just added number two. Added number two. It's not very good. <coughs> Should you read it out? I think it's got to be. I'm a bit confused. Has it got to be moved, passed before I move the motion? <laughs> So you've moved the amendment, moved the, amendment. Moved the mayor to accept it, so you're moving and I've seconded it. I don't have to read that out to us next stage. No, 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 I move that the council allow all councillors to bring forward their budget submission to be verbally able to be spoken briefly at a future budget committee meeting after we firm up available monies for this year's budget. A short version form will be provided by councillors to describe what is being put forward for each submission Description of what is proposed and why, including potential funding source, general rates, grants, fund specific, and proposed stage for the 2021 budget. Well, councillors can't bring the funding sources, so that's probably more. No, just stuff. to say that, oh, yeah, just more or less saying this could it's be. Probably the first part of grant. That you're, you're really chasing, unless you want the staff to bring that forward. Okay, well, yeah. I can speak to that. If you're opening it up, if the movie doesn't want to speak as seconder, I'm happy to speak. Yeah. Well, as seconder, I urge the mover of the amendment to leave that in there because that's relevant to telling the councillors whether you believe that the project you're proposing should be coming from general rates or from a grant. And I think this is vitally important uh, that we do some of the legwork, as I said before. Uh, before we pitch to the other councillors around the table, uh, let, let's put it in writing, allow them to mull over it so when they get here, when you're talking to it, they may have some questions. And I just think um, it, it's not an onerous task, it's a one page or anything that we want to put forward. Uh, and I think the community would expect that we are doing a little bit of homework uh, prior to walking into this room. And I, as a councillor, will do my homework to understand what other councillors want to put forward. I think, think this is vital for the you know, appropriate decision making of the budget. Okay, Councillor Burke, do you wish to speak to the motion? No, I'm happy with that. Right. Okay, we'll go to the vote on the amendment. All those in favour? All those against? <coughs> Six three if I call for division. <laughs> so that's the amendment now we've got to vote on the okay. on the actual motion, haven't we, I think? Because the amendment's gone up. And so that becomes a substantive motion. Kel, could you just um, scroll down a little bit, please, for us, please? Uh, Mr. Mayor, would, would you be willing to include point three? Uh, oh, that's already that's already been done. That was a report that was done. Yeah, that we're asking. Well, to I don't, it's whose motion is it now, really? Um, but I've got no. No, but cool. Whose motion, Mayor? I don't know because it's been changed, so I don't know. Is it this, Councillor Burkett's now? No, the substantive motion is still yours. I know it's odd, but that's okay. how it works. So the, the substantive motion is now the motion, although it's been amended. So this is your motion still. So I'm happy. Well, you, you would like that in there? Is that correct? That you I think, I think it's important for, for the Council. If you'd like me to move an amendment, I will. No, no, if you would like it in there, that is no problem with that. Jim. Okay, so do we need a mover and seconder for this now? No. You, you may just want to, if you're adding that to your motion, you may just want to check with your seconder if they're happy that you're adding after you read it out so everyone knows what it is. It's very strange to read that out. If it's no point three I'm talking about, you're adding that to Yeah. Okay, point three 
information to be provided to all councillors in relation to the Meatworks feasibility study and current development application. Okay, so is the second happy with that? Councillor Edwards? Yeah, um, yes. Um, so just to clarify. That's <laughs> point three. Yep, so information to be provided. <coughs> Is that the total yeah, sum of uh, the resolution now? What, yeah, what happens? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, sorry, just to clarify now, what's the process after this? So then this motion will be voted on. Then in the new society. Because this is the new motion. Okay. Because the amendment got up. Right. Okay, so we don't need a mover or a seconder because they're already there. Is that correct? Okay, uh, would anyone wish to speak to this motion? No. Uh, would anyone speak against the motion? I certainly don't believe it's uh, efficient use of uh, council time doing this until we, um, and I do believe we have many people will come around the room and speak to us, but we don't allow councillors to do the same without uh, written advice. And I do believe, as we've seen in many years, um, most of the projects will not get up, so I think it would be more efficient not to have that groundwork done when it will be all for nothing. Okay, uh, no one else wishes to speak? I'll speak. Councillor O'Neill. Thanks, Mr Mayor. Um, uh, my argument hasn't changed in the last five minutes. I think this is a valuable step in the overall decision-making process of this council. And whilst um, I can't hold it up as a prop um, uh, because it was in the confidential elements of the budget meeting, I was really impressed what we got uh, today from uh, one uh, part of council, the water, sewage and gas, with the business cases that were brought forward, a lot of the case one page business cases that were brought forward. And I think if we can replicate that as councillors, uh, I think it'll be incredibly valuable for all of us to know what is coming out of our heads onto the table for us to consider uh, in this budget. Okay, does anyone else wish to speak? We'll go to the vote. All those in favour? All those against? 6-3 upon call for division. C-3, rating scenarios. <coughs> I'll move that um, uh, one can uh, that I'll move the council one um, provide differential general rates modelling. No, that's not right. That council um, requests differential general rates modelling be undertaken as follows: rural category reset rate in the dollar and minimum with options for phasing out or removing capping. Update scenario one to uh, include petroleum leases and oil gas category 70% increase. Accommodation work camp one to 10 change to one to 20. New scenario based on scenario one with petroleum leases and oil and gas categories 30% increase. New scenario based on scenario two with petroleum leases and oil and gas categories 30% increase. New scenario based on scenario three with petroleum leases and oil and gas categories 30% increase. Two, information be collated for historical differential general rating data, details of accommodation, work, camp and petroleum lease categories. And three, the rates modelling and collated information report to the next um, budget submissions of financial planning standing committee. We have a second for that motion. Councillor Hancock. Any opposition to the motion? Does the mayor wish to speak to the motion? No, thank you. We'll go to the vote. All those in favour? 9 0. <coughs> C4, draft 2020 2021 operational budget. Have a mover. Yes, yeah, Councillor Hancock. I'll move that 
the information provided in the high level draft 2020 to 2021 operational business as usual budget summary is noted. Do we have a seconder? Councillor O'Neill, any opposition to the motion? Does the member wish to speak to the motion? Does anyone wish to speak? We go to the vote. All those in favour? 9 0. LC1 draft 2020-21 fund budget submission water network. Do we have a mover? Yeah. Councillor Burke. Um, the council that the committee recommend the inclusion of the water network fund budget submission, capital works project priority one to sixteen, special projects and water utility charges in the next draft of the 2021 budget. Second. Councillor uh, McMullen, any opposition to the motion? Does the member wish to speak to the motion? No, yes. I will go to the vote. All those in favour? 9 0. Okay, LC2, page 11. Draft 2020 2021 fund. Budget Submission Sewerage Network. Do we have a mover? Councillor O'Neill. I'll move that the committee recommend the inclusion of the Sewerage Network Fund Budget Submission Capital Works Project and Sewerage Utility Charges in the next draft of the 2020-21 budget. We have a seconder. Councillor uh, Ladbrook. And uh, any opposition to the motion? Does anyone wish to speak to the motion? We'll go to the vote. All those in favour? Nine to vote. LC3, preliminary investigations in volumetric charging for sewerage, commercial pedestal charges. I'd like to move that information be received and noted and options for sewerage charges based on occupancy rates for commercial pedestal charges be investigated. We have a seconder, <coughs> Councillor Burkett. Any opposition? Does anyone wish to speak? We'll go to the vote. All those in favour? Nine zero. Page 37. LC4, Training Budget 2020-2021. Do we have a mover? Councillor McMullen. Mr Mayor, I'll move <coughs> that the committee recommend the draft 2020-21 Training Budget be included in the next draft of the 2020-21 Annual Budget. We have a second. Uh, Councillor, uh, Councillor Taylor, any opposition to the motion? Or would anyone wish to speak to the motion? Any opposition to the motion? <coughs> no one wish to speak. We're going to go to the vote. L on LC4. All those in favour? 9 0. Any further business, councillors? Okay, well, we'll close the Budget submissions and financial planning standing committee meeting at 4.34 p.m. Thank you for your attendance.